Did you know that starfish are not fish? They're actually sea stars and belong to a group of animals called echinoderms. Now that's a star fact to start with. Let's dive into the world of these fascinating sea creatures, shall we? Starfish, or as they should be rightly called sea stars, are some of the most unique creatures you'll find under the sea. They come in a variety of sizes, shapes, and colors, each one more fascinating than the last. Some are bright and colorful, while others blend into their surroundings, a perfect camouflage. When you think of a starfish, you probably picture a creature with five arms, right? Well, hold on to your snorkels, because some starfish can have up to 50 arms. That's right, 50. Imagine having 50 arms to wave hello with. Now, let's talk about their skin. If you've ever had the chance to touch a starfish, you'll know their skin is not like ours. It's often hard and bumpy, almost like a rock. Some even have spines. But don't worry, these spines are not used to harm others. They're actually used to protect themselves from predators. You might be wondering, with no visible eyes, how do these sea stars see? Well, they have an amazing ability. At the tip of each arm, a starfish has a tiny eye spot that can detect light and dark. They may not see colors like we do, but these eye spots help them navigate their underwater world. And here's the kicker. Starfish aren't actually fish at all. They don't have gills, scales, or fins like fish do. And they move quite differently too. Instead of swimming, they crawl along the seafloor using hundreds of tiny tube feet. It's like they're giving hundreds of little high fives to the ocean floor. So now you know, our star of the sea, the starfish, is not a fish at all. It's a sea star. There are about 2,000 species of starfish in our oceans. That's more than the number of species of birds in the world. Now, let's dive deep and explore some of these fascinating types of starfish. First up, we have the sun star. This starfish is a real star of the sea with its bright, vibrant colors that can range from red to orange and sometimes even purple. The sun star is unique not just for its sunny disposition, but also for its impressive size and the fact that it can have up to 24 arms. Talk about a big hug. They are typically found in the chilly waters of the North Atlantic and the Arctic. Next on the list is the crown of thorns. This starfish is no royal treat. It gets its name from the venomous thorn-like spines covering its body, resembling the biblical crown of thorns. This starfish is one of the largest species and can reach a whopping diameter of up to 35 inches. The crown of thorns is known for its appetite for coral and can be found in the Pacific and Indian oceans. Finally, let's meet the common starfish. This starfish is the one you're most likely to come across on a beach stroll. It's typically five-armed and can be found in a variety of colors from orange to purple. The common starfish is a real globetrotter and can be found in oceans all over the world, from cold northern seas to the tropical waters of the Indo-Pacific region. Each of these starfish species is unique in its own way, showcasing the wonderful diversity of life under the sea. They come in all shapes and sizes from the round and plump sun star to the long and slim common starfish. And let's not forget the crown of thorns with its prickly exterior. From the sunny sun star to the prickly crown of thorns, starfish come in all shapes and sizes. So next time you're at the beach, keep an eye out for these amazing creatures. Imagine if you could regrow an arm or a leg. Well, starfish can. Welcome to the fascinating world of starfish where losing a limb is merely a temporary setback. These creatures known as the stars of the sea are not only beautiful to look at but also possess some incredible abilities. When we think about living long, we might imagine turtles or elephants. But did you know? Some types of starfish can live for up to 35 years? That's longer than most pet dogs or cats. But what's even more fascinating is their regenerative abilities. If a starfish loses an arm, no problem. They can simply grow a new one. In fact, some starfish can regrow their entire body from just a single arm. Now that's what we call a comeback. So what does a starfish eat during its long life? They're not picky eaters, that's for sure. Starfish enjoy a diet that includes clams, oysters, and other small sea creatures. They have a unique way of eating too. They push their stomachs out of their mouths, wrap them around their food, and digest it outside their bodies. Sounds gross, right? But in the underwater world, it's all about survival. Starfish also have a knack for adapting to their surroundings. They can be found in every ocean, from the tropical waters of the Pacific to the freezing depths of the Arctic. They are true survivors, able to endure a range of temperatures and conditions. So, not only are starfish incredibly diverse but they are also expert survivalists. Whether it's living for decades, regrowing lost limbs or dining on a varied menu, starfish certainly know how to make the most of their lives in the ocean. Their resilience and adaptability are truly an inspiration. 
Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the world of these fascinating marine creatures. Up next we'll be exploring the threats faced by starfish and what we can do to help them. Keep watching and you'll soon become a starfish expert yourself. A starfish may be tough, but they're not invincible. They face many dangers in their ocean homes. Like all creatures, starfish have their own set of problems to deal with. They may not have to worry about paying bills or doing homework, but they do have to worry about things like pollution, climate change, and predators. Yes, even starfish have enemies. Let's start with pollution. Our oceans are unfortunately filled with all sorts of harmful substances, oil spills, plastic waste, heavy metals, the list goes on. These can all be extremely harmful to starfish. For example, oil can clog their tiny skin pores, making it difficult for them to breathe. Plastic waste, on the other hand, can easily be mistaken for food, which can lead to serious digestion problems. Next up, climate change. You've probably heard about this one before. As the Earth's temperature rises, so does the temperature of our oceans. This can cause coral reefs to bleach and die, which is bad news for starfish, as many of them rely on coral reefs for food and shelter. Rising ocean temperatures can also lead to more intense storms, which can damage or destroy starfish habitats. Now let's talk about predators. Starfish may look cute and harmless, but in the ocean, they're on the menu for many larger creatures. Sharks, rays, and large fish all love to snack on starfish. Even seabirds and otters have been known to enjoy a starfish or two. To protect themselves, some starfish can regenerate their limbs if they're bitten off. But it's not a foolproof plan. So, while starfish are certainly tough little creatures, they're not immune to the many dangers of the ocean. They face threats from pollution, climate change, and predators. But here's the good news, we can help. By taking care of our environment and making small changes in our daily lives, we can make a big difference for these sea stars. Even though they are tough and resilient, starfish need our help to ensure their survival. Before we say goodbye, how about a quick quiz to see how much you remember about our star of the sea? It's time to put on your thinking caps. I'm going to ask you three questions. Let's see if you've been paying attention. Question 1. What group of animals do starfish belong to? Is it A. Mammals, B. Reptiles, or C. Echinoderms? I'll give you a hint. It's a fancy word that means spiny skin. Yes, you're absolutely right if you guessed C. Echinoderms. Starfish are indeed part of this group, along with sea urchins and sea cucumbers. Moving on to question 2. Can you name one type of starfish? There are so many to choose from, right? Like the sunflower starfish or the blue linkia starfish. Or maybe you remember the crown of thorns starfish? They all are fascinating in their own way. And now, for our final question. What do starfish eat? Do they prefer A. Seaweed, B. Clams and oysters, or C. Ice cream? Well, as much as they might enjoy a scoop of vanilla, the correct answer is B. Clams and oysters. Starfish have a unique way of eating by pushing their stomachs out of their bodies to digest their food. Isn't that something? Well done on completing the quiz. Whether you got all the answers right or learned something new, you're a star in my book. Remember, each one of us can help protect these amazing creatures. We can make sure to respect their habitats when we visit the beach and be mindful of our impact on the environment. And here's a little reminder before we part ways. Don't forget to subscribe to Guru Kids Smart Kids channel for more such fun and informative videos. We have a universe of knowledge to explore together. Until next time, keep shining bright, my little stars.